Hello, this is my daughter Matilda and she's 10 years old. Hello, this is my mum Maggie and she's a bit older than that. Thank you. Um, Matilda has had um, a fear of being sick for pretty much half of her life. Um, about a year ago it became quite apparent. Um, she became very obsessive with washing her hands, so much so they were bread, raw, cracked and bleeding. And we couldn't quite work out why. Um, got to the bottom of it and found out it was this fear of being sick. I thought there must be a name for it, so I googled it, um, and yes there is, and it's a metaphobia. So, further looking into it, I came quite by chance uh, across the book by Rob Kelly about thriving, um, and an actual book for cure your metaphobia, which was great, but imagine my delight when I actually found the Young Persons Edition, I thought this is great, so I bought it. We worked through it together, um, and I can happily say Matilda is no longer emetophobic. Um, so anyway, she's going to tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, so as you know from my mum, I have emetophobia. Um, before I started the Thrive programme, I was so obsessed with lots of bizarre things you just wouldn't believe. Um, ever since I was five, I've had the fear of being sick, but it was only about a year ago that it came apparent to my mum. So... I'll tell you some of the bizarre things, okay, so when I was five, I had had my dinner and I was feeling a little bit sick um, and I went in the bath and then after the bath I was sick on a bit of carpet outside the bathroom and ever since then, I have been avoiding that patch I've and been just going round it, jumping over it. Um, and um, two years ago, I was sick on my stairs. Um, and same with the patch of carpet. I have been, I used to avoid that bit of that step. Um, so, and I used to think that it was more likely to be sick at night due to the fact that I just, every, uh, every time I've been sick, it's been night or towards night. Um, and after eating or going to bed, I thought that it would be three hours after. Um, because once, I think it was three hours after having my tea, and then another time, three hours after going to bed. And I just thought that it would be three hours after. Um, and used to every night at 7 p.m. just about an hour or so before my um, bedtime I would suck my tummy in and it would really hurt and then because it hurt I thought I was going to be sick um, and I used to have to wash my hands after touching door handles going to the chemist and touching the surfaces after touching my socks um, and touching the family TV remote. Um, I used to be worried about eating certain meats such as chicken, beef, bacon and I used to question my mum as to whether it was cooked properly. Um, and every night I would wake, I would be, when my mum and dad had gone downstairs and were watching telly, I would get up out of my bed and I would look in my mirror and if I looked pale I would think that I was going to be sick. Okay, and before school or any time, I would have to arrange things neatly. They would have they would have to be done. So my mum's just going to tell you. Yeah. Well, one thing I'd like to add is um, the um, change in Matilda's behaviour. Remarkable change um, before Thrive. Um, she used to get very stressed and very anxious um, and we used to have um, major meltdowns mm -hmm. um, and constant daily whinging, mm -hmm. um, which um, few, in fact, in fact we don't have meltdowns now, few and far between um, on the whinging because now I can put it down to, uh, well I think, um, the levels of stress and anxiety that she had, working herself up over constantly this fear of being sick. Um, just going back as well to you said about treading on the carpet and touching her socks, 
that was quite a big thing. And if any of her friends came around to play and they'd trodden on that patch, bearing in mind this was five, well, more than five years ago, um, she would get very anxious if her friends had trodden on it and if they then, say, played on her bed or something that she was very anxious about, about the that, then it was going to cause her to be sick. So we don't have any of that now. Her behaviour is brilliant. Um, and, um, yeah, just working through the Thrive, it's it's been really good, really good. Um, now I've been through the Thrive programme, I feel the complete opposite kind of person. I no longer worry about the things I used to, and if I ever do, I can change them straight away. Um, and I know that I've changed because about, I don't know, months ago or so, um, I volunteered to help someone at school who felt sick. Um, and I just wouldn't, would never have done that before Thrive. And I just want to say it really works and you need to do it. Um, and one last thing, this journal, I know I'm my second one. And I think it's a real help. And I think you need to keep, once you finish the big Thrive book, I think you need to get these. I think you need to get another one. And when you finish that one, get another one because they just help you to keep on track. And I'd just like to say a big thank you to Rob Kelly and a real big thank you to my mum for helping me through it. Mm.